Well, good morning, Good Samaritan Society, Lake Forest Village. Chaplain Philip Johnson here with our Tuesday morning video devotion. Our passage comes from Psalm 118, 14 through 24. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say his love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die, but live, and will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. A few thoughts on our passage. You know, when a musical group um, gets so popular over such a long period of time, um, they can come out with a greatest hits album. They're so popular that they have an album's worth of top songs. Um, usually an album, uh, any single album, only has maybe two to three songs that are recognizable, songs that are played on the radio. Um, but when a group has been so popular for so long, they have a tendency to re-release an album with just their top hits. Psalm 118 is something of a greatest hits album. Right from the get-go, verses 1 and 2, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. This is a very familiar refrain. And it recognizes that God is good. And because God is good, that invites us to be thankful for his goodness. But specifically, he's good because his love endures forever. It's not temporary. Uh, God could be good temporarily, and he would still be worthy of our thankfulness. Um, but God's goodness is not temporary. His love endures forever. Long before I showed up, long after I leave, God's love endures forever. So how much more are we invited to be thankful Verse 22, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Now, this isn't your typical um, underdog story. This is really more of an issue about perception. Um, that the religious leadership of Jesus' day anticipated a Messiah that would come and liberate them from the Romans um, and rise in military power and deliver the people and jesus demonstrated that that's not what he was there for he was after a different kind of kingdom not an earthly kingdom but a heavenly kingdom and a heavenly kingdom that is also at work here on earth he rose to authority he rose to kingship in that kingdom and so the, the builders, the religious leadership, rejected Jesus. But ultimately, Jesus has become the foundation of our faith. Uh, his death on the cross and resurrection invites us into a new life. And because of what he did on the cross, death is no longer the final note. Death is simply a step on the journey. And then finally, 
In the NIV, it's worded, the Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. What that sounds like is, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Again, another very familiar refrain. One in which we recognize that the very day that we are experiencing today was a day that is made by God for us. That God literally provided this day for us and for our experience of this day. So because this day is a gift, we are invited to recognize that. To rejoice, to be thankful, and to be glad. Let me pray for us. God, we are thankful that your love endures forever. That even though you were rejected by the builders, you became our capstone. And we're thankful that you made this day. Teach us to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Have a great day.